How's it going, Forex traders? Welcome back to yet another amazing episode of Trader Talk. For those of you guys who are joining for the first time, my name is Dapo Wallace, and this is a segment of my channel where I come to practicalize, yes, practicalize trading. Not talk about top five strategies, best indicators, best time frames, and none of that. Let's use everything we learn across the channel and let's see how we can implement everything on the charts to ultimately be able to extract money from the market. Now, before I jump into my charts, before we start looking, and trust me guys, there are a lot of juicy opportunities lined up. But before I get into the juicy opportunities, I want to first of all, smile because I made a shit ton of money the last two weeks. Yes, I have made a whole lot of money and everybody who's watched my YouTube channel, everybody, all the Forex Mastery students, I want to say a big shout out to you guys because I know you guys have also made a lot of money. Why? Because they've been sending me the screenshots. People are buying cars. People are paying for their school fees. People are buying their mom a house. Why? Because Dapper Willis comes on here and breaks it down. Why? Because they've decided to invest in themselves. They got the Forex Mastery program and now they can see the market clearly. GBPUSD has absolutely done a madness. It's fallen down the way we want it. The euro collapsed as well. What else collapsed? AUDUSD was my latest victim. As a matter of fact, I have gold line up. Gold is going to be my next victim. So if you combine all the pips together, we've probably made at least 450 to 500 pips over the last two weeks. Yes, a lot of money. And I know the highest beneficiaries from all this have been the Forex Mastery students. Anyways, guys, before I, before I go on any further, I just... Uh, I got a couple of friends here with me. So this is his name is Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, this, this is my this is my guy, and he's got some other friends with him. So we got 10k, 20k, 30k. So I've actually gone ahead to redraw some of my profits. This is something that a lot of people don't do, and I always advise traders: if you make money in the market, ex forex mastery students, I know guys, I know that you made money. How do I know? Because we trade alike. You're my students. I know you guys made a ton of money. Please redraw your profits. Look at your bands. Look at your US dollars. Look at them. Look at it pretty nicely, right? Feel it, okay? Take it to the mall. Go shopping. Buy your mom something nice. Buy your uncle. Buy your wife. Whatever the case may be, take care of yourself, okay? Because the, the, the reason why we do what we do is to be able to freaking live a good life okay it's not just about trading every single time so forex mastery students if you're watching this and i know you guys made a lot of money i'm stressing because i know you guys you've been sending me the screenshots do you know how many students have passed their ftmo challenge in the last two weeks probably like maybe 80 percent of the academy has and the remaining 20 percent who didn't pass probably just didn't take the challenge any students on the forex mastery program who took the challenge has passed i've been seeing the screenshots Guys, with the setups, we know the setups, we know how the setup goes, and you guys have made money. So, all I want you guys to do is redraw. The last video that I did, I said comment down below and say redraw. And guys, as I've said it, it has happened. So, if you've redrawn money, when you redraw money, type redraw down in the comment section. Redraw money and tag me on social media. You know me on Instagram is dapo.willis, on Twitter is I am dapo. Where else am I? What else do I always do? Facebook, not so much. So Instagram and Twitter, tag me, tag, just say redraw. Take your money out. I want to see it. Even if it's ten dollars, hundred dollars, one thousand dollars, fifty thousand. I just went and got thirty k. Just a little change, right? And I'm like, I'm gonna go blow it all all away. Like I'm gonna go buy some nice stuff in the mall. I want you guys to do the same because what I'm trying to do on this channel, right? What I'm trying to do on this channel is to ensure that you guys don't just make money, make money and see it on your computer screen. You guys actually use it to take care of yourself. So, and once again, if you haven't joined the Forex Mastery Program, I suggest you're missing out on this amazing community. The link is going to be down in the description as always, right there or in the one of these boxes around here and for those of you who are obviously from countries whereby you're struggling to use your card if you check i think in the so we we've put a provision for the for the naira as well because we, we realize a lot of people are struggling to pay in the naira so you see a pay stack link there as well but if you're from everywhere else in the world the link is going to be around here somewhere just click the link in the description or around here join the community and change your life i don't care what you're doing what indicator strategy you're, you're, you're using you're missing out because guess what guys the US dollar is trending. So enough about all this rant. 
Once again, I love you Forex Mastery students. But enough about all this rant, let's get into the computer. Now let's go. All right, people, so welcome inside of my screen. Good to have you guys here. Before I break down these charts, before I tell you how to make money this upcoming week, I want you guys to do me one thing. Smash the subscribe button right there. Smash it right there. It is for your own good. It is for your own benefit because look at all this money we're making. We've literally been catching this euro dollar wave all the way to the downside. So, you know, I mean, I don't need to say much about it. Just smash the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on all this very juicy information. So guys, let's jump right into the chart. So we've been, it's no secret from the last episode of Trader Talk that we have been short uh, the euro, uh, we started shutting the euro from all the way, I think somewhere about here. My entries were somewhere inside of here, actually. Yeah, my entries were somewhere around here. My first level target was 100% retracement, as you guys can see pretty nicely. And we've, we hit um, that area around here. We've, we hit the area, we actually came down a bit uh, lower than it and we'll be moving sideways. So m the reason why my first level target was was at this region was Forex Mastery students, you know, your first level target must always be at the what 100% retracement. Um, so what actually happened was I took out 50% of my position on this trade and I moved stop losses past break even. And as you can see, the market hit my first level target and spiked all the way to the upside, right? So that just goes to show you that my levels are actually very spot on. Okay, I placed this level earlier, and as you can see, the market has what reversed all the way back to the upside, and just to test this trend line, this um, descending trend line. Um, so that just goes to show you that our levels are spot on. Whatever it is we preach and teach on the Forex Mastery program is actually very obtainable. It happens real life, right? And it didn't take me more than what five ten seconds to identify this key level right so anyways that that being said what exactly is happening in the euro and what do i think is going to be and guys don't go anywhere watch this to the very end because i'm going to speak about gold very soon and there's a very juicy trading opportunity so if i were you i will stick around to the very end okay so what actually is happening at the moment is the euro has come in to test this very key level which is actually a round number it's actually 1.0 if i just move this up pretty nicely yes this is the bone of contention 1.000 this is known as parity okay meaning that um two things one is equal to the other this is a pretty much is a pair now so the euro dollar is actually at parity at the moment funny enough i actually called this six months ago um but i don't want to obviously tooth my own horn and start going yeah start saying yes i predicted this no, no 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 we're here to make money so we've hit the 1.00 region it is a psychological level for the market hence why all the confusion and trying to go down and uh, profit taking and the market wasn't really ready to be honest if the real level is actually a bit lower <laughs> the market wasn't really ready to head lower which is completely understandable and the market has shot all the way to the upside so at the moment i am out of the euro usd um, trade because I've made all this money to the downside. Um, I've taken out fifty percent of my position. I moved my stop losses past break even. So on this trade, I probably made roughly about. Um, sorry guys, my mom is calling me. <laughs> She's calling me, man. She's like, the market is giving you some good money. Let's go spend some of that money. By the way, say hello to my little friend, Mr. Benjamin. We got thirty k. Let's look at all this money we're making from the market, guys. I cannot remember the last time we hit a stop loss. Actually, one of my one of my one of the students on the forex mastery program actually told me about that recently. Yeah, he said, "Sir, I can't remember the last time we had a losing trade." That's the power of you know the the, the top down analysis and what exactly we teach here. For for those of you who haven't grabbed the program, you know where to grab it. It's in the link down in the description. Anyways, so the the psychological level pushed the market back up. And then, you know, this descending trend line has held the market, oops, has held the market down. So on a daily time frame, which I'm going to have to come to, to see what exactly is happening for, for hours to zoom in. From what I can see, this market is still technically making uh, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low. Now, this low is not exactly the most convenient lower low, but if I move this here, I don't really have beef with this lower low. I don't know if I'm going to lie to you. I have a little bit of beef with this lower low. But if I swing my Fibonacci from swing A to swing B, you, you can pretty much get a feel as to why this market is turning around about here. So for Euro USD, 
I'm not going to lie to you. I, 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 I envisage for a further decline. Okay, I can see a further decline on the euro USD. Um, at the moment, we're most likely going to come down lower. I'm expecting this market to actually roll down all the way into um, 0.97437. And then shortly after that, we should definitely be hitting these regions at about 0.96243. So the euro do does definitely have some space to the downside. However, I do have one little concern. Once I have concerns, I have to highlight them. The market is heavy. It looks like it wants to continue falling. But if you draw your levels properly, you'll see that this bad boy has pretty much, it's now looking a bit, it's kind of looking like a range, right? So ideally, I would like to see the euro dollar come and take out this level because this is this is exactly how I like to trade. It saves me a lot of money. It saves me a lot of heartache. I don't need to worry or stress and be like, oh my God, I like for the market to give us a clear direction. Okay, there was a lot of profit taking on Friday last week, which is absolutely necessary because that's exactly how the market works after every major move there must be a resultant move so long story short for me to continue selling the euro which i am completely out of at the moment we will need to come and take out this yellow zone once we take out this yellow zone i have some juicy space all the way to the downside don't worry about this it's not that big it's it's, it's, it's just looking a bit big because it's on a lower time frame but i'm just gonna just close this up a little bit so that it doesn't look very intimidating to you guys come back to the daily so that you guys can see that don't worry we still have space so what i'm going to do is i'm just simply going to be i'm just going to be patient that's that's pretty much it right so from all indications the market is still pushing lower you know we're still making lower lows and lower highs the monthly candle still looks very bearish i can't see any a reversal on the monthly time frame weekly candlestick although last week did close like this okay so this is a reversal candlestick pattern um for those of you guys who study baby pips very well however this boy is still kind of pushing so you know there's a bit of you know i mean i'm i'm, I'm 70 percent to the downside this is a 30 percent chance of a reversal um because i mean 1.00 with this is parity this is a very psychological level so i will be very careful trading around this region this is exactly why you guys know me forex mastery students you know me my number one rule is capital preservation i'm not going to be in a hurry i'm not jittery right i'm not jittery in a hurry Conf Oga, come on confirm to me if you if you know mr euro usd now my nigerian accent is out mr euro dollar if you know in your heart of hearts that you want to continue going lower come and break the yellow bar but until you break the yellow bar i'm not interested in you thank you for all the money you've given actually this is not the first year i've been shutting the euro since god knows when it's giving me some more money i've got some i made a sick i don't want to tell you how much I'm, like guys it's been crazy but i've got 30k on the right to my left hand side i'm gonna go blow at the mall right so i made some good money trust me if i'm blown blow, blow 30k best belief the whole equation the whole profit was huge, right? So my point is, um, I made some good money. I'm not greedy. I'm not in a hurry. I'm going to wait. Come and break this yellow bar and then we can talk business. But for now, I'm out of the euro. Let's go over to GBPUSD. I don't want to waste time on these pairs. Same situation with GBPUSD. As you can see, GBPUSD has come to hit, um, has come to hit this black bar that I put here pretty nicely. Guys, you can see the, the GBPUSD was such a juicy trade, right? My entries were right about here. You guys can go back to my previous videos. Or if you're doubting me, check my previous videos. You don't have, you know that my saying. If you're doubting me, check my previous videos. So GBPUSD is actually in, is actually currently in profit taking mode. Why? Because we've actually pulled into the 0.27 extension. Okay, so oh my goodness, what did I just do? Okay, cool. Just put this up here. So, sorry guys, I don't like having too many lines on my charts. I'm just going to delete some of this stuff. Sorry. I'm just going to delete some of this stuff. Um, obviously, there's still something here that I don't want to see. I'm just going to delete all this stuff. I pride myself in very clean charts. So, what is actually happening for GBPUSD is a simple A, B, C, D pattern has formed. So, what this simply means is the amount of pips that the market fell here is going to be equal to the A to B leg will be equal to the B to the C to B, A, B, C, a, B leg must be equal to the C to D leg. Fucking hell, I forgot my A, B, C, D. Okay, so we've come to the, first of all, this is a black bar. Um, 
which signifies that something is actually happening, something has happened here in the past, which also lined up with the 0.27 extension, which I like to use to take my profits. Um, so the GBPUSD might be in for some retracement. We might bottom out somewhere around here and start facing the upside. This is from a lower time frame perspective. But don't forget, we haven't looked at the higher time frame. So from a higher time frame perspective, oh, you can, I mean, you guys, you can understand why GBPUSD is having difficulties here. Because, I mean, look at this is a major level. You know, you don't need a, even a baby will tell you that this is a major level because we've been here before. We spiked here all the way back in February of 2020. We're back here again. So a lot of profit taking is actually happening. So I don't really expect these pairs to just keep falling out of the sky, if I'm honest. Um, look at this entire move. Look, guys, this is crazy. You know, this is this is this is huge. This is crazy. And guys, I predicted this move from all the way up here. Once we broke, guys, remember when I called the head and shoulder pattern, once the neckline was broken, we pulled back. And I told you guys the, the, the British sterling is about to collapse. If you think I'm if you're lying, if you think I'm lying, you're doubting me, check my previous videos. I do this shit for fun. Okay, it comes natural to me. Once I see it, I know it's gonna happen, right? So we've come right here. This is a, quite a significant zone. Although my overall target is all the way down here. Why is that? Okay, if I look left, this is exactly why. Um, so, however, this green bar, no, this black bar is actually causing a problem at the moment. So, for GBPUSD, like I said, um, I'm, I made more money off GBPUSD than I made off the euro because the euro didn't actually keep falling the way I wanted it to keep falling. And we just got to the 0.7 extension and just started shaking. But this guy, I started selling all the way from here all the way down to the bottom as you always know my first level target is at 100 percent retracement so i just wanted to quickly go over what happened uh last two weeks what we predicted why we predicted it how it happened how we played out and all the, how so i, I pr i'm pretty much explaining how i make all this money right i show you guys before i tell you guys when to buy i say this is where i'm buying and this is where i'm coming out and i show you guys when i actually get the bands okay so this is very important now done with gbp usd Bitcoin was actually very similar. Bitcoin has hit my target. So what's actually happening, guys, is there's massive profit taking going across board. When it comes to the majors at the moment, Euro USD, GBP USD, I'm, a, I'm sitting on my hands because we've... Guys, you have to understand, for every massive move, when you make a lot of money in the market, right, don't expect the market to just keep miraculously falling. It needs time to, like decide am i going to keep falling do i want to you know especially when you see massive profit taking give it some time give it some space we've made money we made money off bitcoin we shorted bitcoin down here we shorted it again back down here let's leave it for now <laughs> same with the euro same with gbp usd however aud usd is looking like it wants to keep on melting now this guy is my current victim at the moment if we can break i'm actually I'm actually short um, AUDUSD as we speak. I have one position open because my entries were all the way up here. Okay, it was very okay. I cannot disclose my entry strategy, but forex mastery students, you know how I get into these markets. Okay, so my, my sell position is about here. The market came right about here. I took out fifty percent of my position. As you can see, this is why I tell you guys take out fifty percent of your position. You can see that at a hundred percent retracement, the market most likely would react. Now, the reason why we've collapsed again is because the market is in a downtrend. If this market was in a ranging form, best believe it would have blown all the way to the upside. So that rule of taking out 50% of your position at the 100% retracement still stands. You need to do that, okay? Just because, I mean, you are lucky this time, you only get lucky once or twice in this game. The rest, the market... Will... It could chop you like, oh, ha... <laughs> Speaking of OHA, me, I've been basically, I've been busy eating day trader stop losses for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like, guys, day traders and people who use indicators, they have no idea. They're lost. They are lost in this game. They are completely lost. Guys, once again, if you made money from my analysis, if you've made money in the past, just type redraw down in the comment section. Drop me a follow. Drop me a subscribe. I love you guys very much, man. This is, it gives me so much joy to be able to come on here and actually change people. People are buying cars, guys. People are, people are paying for their school fees. People are paying for their masters. Forex, man. And guys, I've been telling you guys that the Forex Mastery course price is going to go up. Every time I do it, some people always like a group of like 500 people just come and beg me, please leave it 
hmm, one day like my head is going to switch and I'm going to take the prices from $900 or so, from, from $99 all the way up to $900. I'm not even going to kid you. So if you haven't gotten the program, I suggest you get it. And my my team, Willis University, they've been telling me, sir, there's a lot more. We, they actually want us to, to like bring out a newer version of forex machine and make it very exclusive and make it very expensive so i suggest you grab this one now while you can now uh, grab it to the link is going to be down here below or in the description is entirely i'm not going to beg anybody as you can see i have my bands here don't need anybody's money it's up to you if you want to change your life you know what to do by the course Anyways, back to what I was saying. So AUDUSD is what I'm actually looking at at the moment. I feel like we have a lot more potential. We have so much potential to the downside. Um, why is that the case? It's simple. Just come on the monthly time frame. Monthly is giving up the ghost. The monthly is giving up the ghost. Monthly is giving up the ghost. You know, the monthly is giving up the ghost. As you can see, very clear, easy. Top down analysis will show you everything you need to know. Guys, once I promise you, once AUD USD breaks 0 0.2, sorry, 0 0.67264, once we take this level out, woof, raindrops are falling on my hips. Oh, it's gonna be raining dollars, man. It's gonna be raining US dollars, man. It's gonna be raining Benjamins, man. It's gonna be, ra guys, I'm so excited because, man, the money we made, I will even lie to you, like, my investors have been calling me, like, that's what's happening. Like, we have like first of all for my investors we give them 16 percent like we tell them we're going to return 16 percent a year this year before the before i flew to, to nigeria in uh, june we had already done 64 percent or 68 percent middle of the year now with these three trades that we've done between gbp usd euro usd and aud usd what we are looking at right now is actually 112 percent now with AUD USD still looking like he wants to drop <laughs> guys retirement is around the corner for me because i'm just looking at the pnl balance man man it's looking wild and i know this is the same for a lot of forex machine guys people are passing their ftmo and guys i also want to tell you something please let me know let me let me put this in it's very important at the moment the us dollar is trending okay I want you guys to make the most out of it but most importantly i want you guys to learn we've been on this channel since 2020 right doing this trader talk and in 2020 the market was ranging you saw as i navigated through the ranges and all that blase blase i hope you learned from that and i hope you're also watching you know and, and learning from me how i trade the trends you can see it's a lot easier to trade the trend than those trending than those ranging markets right so what i want to what i'm trying to say here in essence is i want you guys to understand both types of market cycles you know crazy ranges and the amazing trends okay and know exactly how to position yourself once again i teach that on the forex mastery program but youtube um, my youtube subscribers i hope you guys are watching and learning so AUD USD in a nutshell i'm still very much short guys i won't lie to you i believe this this level is going to break just by looking at it go break go break it's coming go break so i'm just watching anyways i'm still short although i've taken out um 50% of my position, I always, the golden rule, I don't care how little I make, I, obviously I made all this money down here, but 50% off, move stop loss to break even, done, 10 pips are past break even, I'm chilling, whatever, so that whatever wants to happen, AUD, AUD USD can happen, but best belief, we got a 1k pip drop, pending, pending, as long as, pe guys, as long as we break this green bar, that's the condition. Once we break here, and if you haven't already gotten AUD USD, don't stress yourself. 1,000 pips, the market isn't just going to drop. It will come, coil, retrace, do like this, and I will come back and we'll keep messing it up and keep adding, and the market will keep dropping and falling and falling. And last but not the least is gold. You see gold? Hmm. Gold is really in trouble. I'll break down gold for you guys just before I let you guys go. Gold, you are in trouble. I've been saying this thing since. But nobody wanted to listen to me. I'm just going to delete all my drawing tools. First things first with gold. So that you heard it here first on Dapsy Radio. Gold is going to drop. First of all, from a fundamental standpoint. The reason why gold rallied all the way to the upside. in This is 2020. From 2019 to 2018. The, the move started in late 2018 then 2019 already the market was in an uptrend but the real catalyst 
behind why gold rallied all the way to the upside so quickly was the fact that there was coro i can't say that word they might flag my video you know what that thing that made everybody stay at home <laughs> oh my god i hope that didn't flag the video that thing right there was that thing that made us stay at home okay <sighs> i think i'm gonna have to blur that part out i'm gonna have to write it down guys give me a sec blur out where i said because guys you don't know this this social media platform they will, they will ban you for saying stuff or they'll just flag the video anyways blur it out anyways youtube knows what to do they'll just tell me to they'll just help me mute that part so the reason why gold rallied all the way to the upside was because of that thing that made everybody stay at home now when there's crisis in the world everybody usually tends to take money away from the stock market and they put it in a safe haven and gold is gold right from right from ancient memorial gold has been the number one safe haven so that was pretty much the catalyst that you know drove gold all the way to the upside now I'm explaining fundamentally, then I'll get to the technicals, right? So, however, like I keep telling you guys, after every major move, there must be a resultant consolidation. And don't forget, this market was trending for two years straight. Best believe it will consolidate for another at least one year, six months. <laughs> it's just how you cannot, it's just the way it goes. So that's why I keep telling you, understand the trending game and understand the ranging markets, different market cycles, so that regardless of whatever is presented to you, you know how to trade it, or most importantly, most importantly, you know if you want to stand aside, step aside. So that being said, we've ranged for one year, six months. Um, the market rallied all the way into, now I'm trying to go away from, so still on fundamentals, now the dollar is strengthening usually once the dollar starts to strengthen gold tends to drop why because people are no longer scared they're taking their money out of the safe haven they are now liquidating into the us dollars and they're actually going out to spend the money okay so you can see it's called a transfer of wealth so there's a current transfer of money from commodities game which is gold silver which is a safe haven people are now converting the money into back into us dollars so as you can see the dollar is trending so what this simply means is long story short is if dollar is trending positively gold will drop if gold is going up dollar will fall it's it's it's, it's just how it's been since i knew i started trading forex which was over 11 years ago fundamentally dollar is trending gaining strength gold is going to weaken fundamentally gold is going to, long summary fundamentally gold is weak it's going to weaken done are we done we're done with, we're done with fundamentals for gold let's go over to the technicals which the market is pretty much 19 95 percent technicals but i just like to always put the fundamentals for you fundamental junkies technically gold was unable to you see this this is the reason why bitcoin collapsed a lot of people think i'm joking let me show you I delete everything on Bitcoin. Remove all five. Bitcoin collapsed because it could not bridge its previous high. Collapsed. Let's go over to gold. As you can see now, gold is doing something a bit. Forget about these two extra horns that came out. This is the high. This this is not exactly a higher high. Principles of on the price action state. You must gold. If gold was going to continue going higher, we should have come all the way up here. I'm getting somewhere with this story now technically you have failed to take out your previous highs <laughs> so what is this you're now looking like a double top <laughs> so what what's going to happen next to gold it's going to fall from a higher time frame from a top-down analysis perspective my boy it's going to drop now it hasn't been dropped it hasn't dropped since the only thing that has been saving gold eh i'll tell you what First of all, is this trend line? I'll tell you, as because we've been we've been inside of this trend line. I'll just adjust this properly. Joining your your trend lines, the two most outermost points. Don't put it here. Just follow the rules. Outermost so that you don't run into issues. Bend this like this. Finish. Another reason, another thing that has been holding gold that has been help, that has been helping gold's destiny. Is this range? Hmm? Am I making sense? Am I communicating? <laughs> That's what has been holding gold from dropping because gold hasn't been shown. Gold, are we going higher? No, we tried. 
tried, tried. I remember this was ranging, this was early 2020. I just moved to Dubai. We all are trying and trying and trying and up down. After some while, like, you know what, don't leave good. When it's ready, it will let us know. We tried again. Actually, actually went long somewhere around here and made all the money up to the upside. Even within this range, we have a double top. Apart from the overall double top, which is this green, but we have it has still formed another double top. Ha <laughs> ha. Not only has he formed this double top, he has come and he has broken this trend line that has been holding it since God knows when. Since when this 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 uptrend started in when 2019, you have violated it. Okay, well, it's not good. Let it not be that. Let it not be said that this guy is just collapsing different economies. Like I predicted, the collapse of the British pound. Collapse, predicted the collapse of Euro USD. Now he is out for good. I'm just showing you guys evidence. This is evidence. Now, the only thing that is holding gold right now is this green bar. This green bar, the price of one, what is this? One six nine five thousand dollars per ounce. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first on Dapsy Radio. If and when, now it's not even a decision of if, when gold finally decides to break this one. 695 let's just call it 1700 okay no one that is holding it it's a round number when gold eventually does break this green bar woo, it's free for 1544 next yes and then we're going to be heading towards regions that look like this 1385 is going to be a very very nasty fall for gold i'm not even going to lie to you guys so as you can see, I don't like to have too many lines on my chart. I'm just going to delete this one. I'm going to just leave only this one. Actually, I'm going to take this out. As you can see, I like to keep my charts very clean. Once again, guys, if you want to learn how to trade like this, as you can see, I'm having fun with the market. I'm right. Actually, this year I've been right since November of last year. I've been right 10 out of 10 times. So now I'm going to brag. I'm right every time. Ooh, that felt good to say. I'm right every time. Cause go check my videos. Go check everything. I'm not obviously. Let, please stop loss. Stay away from me. But I'm obviously. <laughs> I'm not getting overconfident here. I never get overconfident. If I'm getting overconfident, I'll just be trading anyhow. It's just that the measures I've put in place help me stay within the confines of profitability. Yes, there's a certain safety guards that I put that ensure that you know it's very very almost impossible for me to get stopped out. Okay, so yeah. Anyways, long story short, once this blue yellow bar is taken out, one seven, this around this region about here, let's just call it one seven. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first on Dapsy Radio. Gold, once gold is able to breach one seven hundred, next level target is gonna be one five four four point six two. And that's that on that. I'm not short gold at the moment, but we have space. If the weekly is showing us all of this, imagine what the daily looks like space imagine what the four hour looks like even more freaking space we have all this space all this space all of this space okay so we have all this all we need to do is beam once it comes down beam and you know go deal first of all move side drop and then for forex mastery students you know what to do just go on the module module six it talks about entries and exits just follow my entry strategy and just keep selling and you're pretty much good to go that is provided we break this yellow bar. If we don't break this yellow bar, this and this whole idea is null and void. However, I am in support of a bearish movement on gold to the tune of 85%, and that's very high. The remaining 50%, the market will need to show me a certain level of commitment. And the only commitment I need from you, Mr. Gold, break the neckline of this range and Come and wake me up. I will be the first person right there to start shutting and start selling. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. Thank you for staying. Thank you for enjoying this analysis. As you can see at the moment, I'm still short AUD USD. Gold is lining up pretty nicely. Euro dollar, GBP USD. I'm not interested in it for now anymore at the moment. I've made a lot of money off it. I'm good. Gold and AUD USD. Um, I'm going to be looking at the and you have to understand that AUD, USD and gold are actually quite, co they're actually positive, they have, they're correlated, positively correlated if that's the word. So if AUD, USD is going down, gold usually goes down or if gold is going down, AUD, USD goes down. So that's a, a little bit of fundamental 
correlation to back up the analysis. So, guys, as I've told you guys, AUD USD needs to take out that current support. Basically, it's support. Like, once we can break current structure, it's a structure thing now. Once current structure can be taken out, we're pretty much good to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. And I'll catch you guys on my other screen. If you haven't grabbed the program, once again, the link is going to be in the description down as always or around. Actually, check the description. It's usually in the description. All right, guys, take it easy and see you guys on my other screen. Let's go. Thank you guys so much for staying with me to the very end of this very lengthy video. I love you guys very much. Once again, redraw your profits. Redraw, 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 redraw those profits, right? Please, you need to do that, right? So, once again, thank you for staying with me to the very end. Gold is definitely, most likely, going to collapse. Um, and I, I believe strongly that the US dollar index will continue trading for the foreseeable future. Obviously, the, the market has to dictate to us what exactly is going to happen. Now, guys, once again, if you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program, the link is going to be in the description down, as always, or around here somewhere. Once again, my name is Dapo Willis. Do me a little favor, smash that subscribe button right there and i'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos take it easy and peace out